ask you, you, you and Elizabeth Warren have pretty close to identical positions on, no, on, 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 on the big point. issues. What, what do you say to those who say that they would pick her because she's eight years younger than you, she didn't just come through this, you know, didn't just have a heart attack, and, and look, and the positions, you're pretty much the same. Well, look, uh, everybody, every American is going to make his or her own choice about the candidate that they want. And Elizabeth Warren has been a friend of mine for some 25 years, and uh, I think she is a very, very good senator. Uh, but there are differences between Elizabeth and myself. Elizabeth, I think, as you know, has said that she is a capitalist through her bones. I'm not. So that was uh, Senator Bernie Sanders distinguishing himself from Senator Elizabeth Warren. And to that I say, finally. Now, this was during an interview with ABC News Chief White House Correspondent Jonathan Carl. And so you saw the question in the beginning there, right? Oh, you're pretty much indistinguishable. You're pretty much identical when it comes to policy, no, they're not. <laughs> so uh, look, that's a media narrative that's going around and Bernie Sanders is finally saying, no, 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 y you know what? No, we're friends and we've known each other for 25 years, but no, <laughs> we're not the same. For one, and I love this, she's a capitalist to her bones. I'm not. Mm, I love it. I love it. Again, this matters. This is important because there is a world of difference between the two. I keep pointing out every time there's a new policy proposal, I do comparisons between Elizabeth Warren's and Bernie Sanders. And every time Elizabeth Warren's is, yes, better than anything in the uh, corporate Democratic establishment is putting out. People like Joe Biden uh, and, and uh, Amy Klobuchar, uh, anyone like that, Cory Booker. Even though, look, everybody, you know, there are some great policies that you can find even in some of these underdogs, right? But at the same time, Bernie Sanders' policies usually go farther and they're better than anyone else's. And that's, that's why people like Bernie Sanders uh, and people are supporting Bernie Sanders. So now, let me give you some examples. Bernie Sanders, been studying on Medicare for All, has a stronger wealth tax does not take corporate money, he does not do big money fundraisers, and has been very clear on those issues. He is the only candidate that has been clear on those issues. Look, Elizabeth Warren says, well, you know, I, I'll take money in the general, uh, but I won't take money in the primary. Then she said, well, you know, okay, I've heard you guys, I'm listening. I'm not going to take corporate money in the general now, but I'll still do big money fundraisers for the Democratic Party. I'm still not quite listening, Liz. Uh, although we do appreciate you moving in that position and listening to uh, criticisms, still raising big, doing big money fundraisers for the Democratic Party. Again, that's a way of taking, uh, basically funneling that money through the parties back into your campaign. And so eh, we're not really buying that. Okay, so we're very skeptical, right? Whereas Bernie Sanders, we're pretty clear where he stands. On this, okay, and not only that, but let's go to the major issue here, the major issue that, that distinguishes Bernie Sanders versus Elizabeth Warren, and that's the issue of change. So now Warren says, "Let's do some changes, right? Okay, let's do some changes, some more regulation. Let's do a little bit more than just around the edges." Okay, look, I appreciate that, right? But Bernie Sanders wants huge transformative change, huge. Which, by the way, is not based on a top-down. It is based on the bottom-up. His most recent policy position, uh, proposal that he came out with, would literally give workers more control over the workplace and dividends from corporate profit. 45%. Now, Elizabeth Warren also has a plan, right, to put people on uh, workers on corporate boards. 40%. 45 is bigger than 40. That's this math, right? And so, yes, you have more transformative change under Bernie Sanders. Warren, again, her changes are based on more at the top. You've got to regulate some corporations and then count on corporations to do some of the right things. Again, let's not confuse the two. They are very, very different candidates. So now Bernie Sanders 
He's going to continue. I think business as usual and doing it the old-fashioned way is not good enough. It's not regulation. Now, what we need is, in fact, I don't want to get people too nervous, we need a political revolution. I am, I believe, the only candidate who's going to say to the ruling class of this country, the corporate elite, enough, enough with your greed and with your corruption. We need real change in this country. So you don't think that's what Elizabeth Warren said? Well, look, 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 Elizabeth is a friend of mine. She will speak for herself. I've just but, told but, you but, what but, I do. But you have said there are differences. And, and you well, just, the and you, and is, you just mentioned a label. Well, I guess, well, it's not a label. I mean, Elizabeth considers herself, if I got the quote correctly, to be a capitalist to her bones. I don't. And the reason I am not is because I will not tolerate for one second the kind of greed and corruption and income and wealth inequality and so much suffering that is going on in this country today, which is unnecessary. So again, that's kind of the difference. Bernie Sanders, and, and here's another thing, right? So he says he's not a capitalist. So what is he, right? Look, uh, some people will falsely say that he's a, a, a socialist, right? And he even calls himself a democratic socialist. In reality, he's a social democrat. His positions aren't radical, especially when you look at Europe. He would be a centrist in Europe. He believes in markets. Yes, just like Elizabeth Warren believes in markets. However, he wants the U.S. to be more like Nordic countries. Stronger safety nets, free college, free health care, worker protections, uh, and but along with it, a business sector that is also robust. Again, you look at the Nordic countries, you look at how they're regulated, and you also look at, at their, again, their safety net system, their welfare state system, and you know, you look at that and then you look at how happy their population actually is. The happiest countries in the world are usually located in the Nordic countries. And, and believe me, uh, look, if it, if it weren't for the social safety net and all that stuff and their social democracy, I don't know if people would be very happy. I mean, it snows there all the time. I'd be perfectly fine there, but to be honest. It, it's it's usually pretty cold there, <laughs> so but anyway, look, they treat their 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 people very very well, and in return, of course, their people do pay higher taxes, of course, uh, but corporations also pay higher taxes, and so it's this system where people actually take care of each other, and they actually trust the government to be able to do so, and I'd like to get to a system like that, uh, so now. In order to do that, by the way, we need massive change. We will not get there with small, sort of around the edges, reforms. And so, again, let me be clear. I like Elizabeth Warren. I've given her a lot of credit in the past. I will continue to give her credit. She's, I don't think she's a bad person, right? I think her policy positions are pretty decent. But she is no Bernie. And that's the difference. Bernie Sanders has been very consistent for a lot of years. She had a political awakening later in life. That's not a bad thing. We all change. Look, I'm not going to hold that against her. But I do want to be, as long as Sanders is in the race, I'm going to be with the guy who's always come correct and is fighting to transform the system. Now, if you don't want a transformation of the system, I understand. I get it. Bernie Sanders is not for you. Go with a, a Klobuchar or a, a, you know, a, a Cory Booker. Okay, yeah, that's up to you, man, or Joe Biden. Disaster, right? But nonetheless, uh, Joe, you, you can do whatever you want, right? But what I see is the working class, the poor, the marginalized, the economically depressed, the elderly, the sick, the people worried about climate breakdown, the young who are inheriting a, a, a broken political, economic, and environmental system. Those are the people that are supporting Bernie Sanders. Those are the people who are hungry for change. And the reason they're with Bernie is because he promises to unrig the system, or at least to do his best to unrig the system and give it back to the people. Now, there are people who don't want that to happen. They will continue to push the narrative that we don't need Bernie. Bernie and Liz are the same. He's too angry. We don't need that kind of uh, upset in our system. Well, I don't agree with you. I don't agree with you at all. Um, Look, there's this narrative, oh, Bernie's over, Bernie's over. Vote for Warren instead, don't worry, they're the same. Not true, not true at all. It's basically a ridiculous attempt to stave off in what their minds would be the overturning of the status quo. 
they do not want their apple cart overturned. I don't think it's going to work. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.